And I remember, I'm a mama, mama, mama. Mm-hmm. Hey guys, welcome back. So I got Friday favorites and foodies for you today, and I have a fun mix this week. I've got some oldies but goodies, some old favorites that I kind of revisited and loved again this week. And then I have a couple of new things, or semi-new things that I've been playing with. One is semi-new, one is new. So yeah, got some fun things to share, so let's get to it. On my eyes this week, I've been playing with this palette. This is the It Cosmetics Superhero Palette. So I've had this for a long time and I just really haven't shown it a lot of love. So I broke it out recently, I've been playing with it, and I've been really enjoying it. I love the shape of it, first off. I think it's just a really cool looking palette, really fun. So the reason I don't find myself reaching for this palette a lot is because there aren't any like good mid-tone transition shades in here. So I don't find that I can create like super dimensional, really involved eye looks with this palette. I think you could, but I just don't think it's the easiest palette to use for a look like this. What I've been using it for this week and what I think this palette is great for are easy eye looks. Like today I just have this one on with my bronzer and I love it. Like this is really, really nice and pigmented, really pretty metallic shadow. This one is really pretty. This one is gorgeous. This one really, I mean, you can like make this one like more dimensional and involved with a little bit of that matte shadow. So, I mean, there is potential for like more dimensional eye looks, but I just don't find that I grab that palette, this palette for those sort of eye looks. I grab this palette for more easy eye looks and it works really well for that. Like today I just have um, Maybelline's Bad to the Bronze on and then this on top of it, but I didn't even need Bad to the Bronze because I wore it one day without Bad to the Bronze and it was totally fine. Um, these are very soft shadows, so you just don't need to dig your brush in there because they will get like fallouty in the container and fallouty on your face if you get too much. You just don't need a ton of product on your brush. But isn't that pretty? Like that one makes a really gorgeous eye look. I did wear this one this week too and loved it. But this is the one that I wore the most. So yeah, I think it's just one of those palettes that you kind of have to like figure out its place in your makeup routine. And this is not the palette that I will grab for, for super involved eye looks. I like to use this palette for easy, I don't really want to think about it sort of eye looks, which is great. That makes it a really like handy palette to have. For blush this week, I broke out some oldies but goodies in my collection. First off, my, what is this called? Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush, and this one is in Mood Exposure. This is such a great, just, it just works sort of a blush. Like that's how I would describe it. It's a, it just works sort of a blush. These are really pretty in that they have that ambient powder mixed in there with it. So it just gives this like really beautiful, like natural glow on the skin. So it doesn't look like shimmery or super highlighty crazy, but it just gives this really pretty natural glow on the face. I'm not wearing this one today. I'm wearing the next blush I'm about to talk about, but just look at that. Is that not like the perfect go with everything sort of color? And these really do remind me of like the Laura Geller Baked Balance and Brighten. Is that what they're called? No. Baked, the Laura Geller Blush and Brightens. Is that what they're called? I think that's what they're called. The Laura Geller Baked Blushes. These kind of remind me of those in that they have that like just beautiful little bit of like a glow on the cheeks, which just gives this gorgeous like youthful look. I love it. So I have several of these, but mood exposure I think is definitely the most like versatile. You're gonna get a lot of use out of it, which is awesome. Really pretty like fancy packaging to it. I mean, it has a fancy price tag. It's hourglass, but it's a fancy blush. It has the fancy price tag, but I think it's a fancy nice blush to back that up. And then one of my favorite blushes ever, my Chanel Jouet Contraste Powder Blush in Jersey. Oh my goodness, I love this blush so much. It's just so versatile. I mean, it's a Chanel blush, so it is an investment, but this is one of those like bronzery looking blushes that's just so easy and so, so versatile. This is one of those blushes that I will take out when 
I'm trying to do super fast makeup, which I did super fast makeup one day this week. I had to like get ready real quick. It was real early in the morning and this is what I wore. And I used this and not any bronzer because it's like that bronzery looking blush that you can just put like right there on your cheeks and then just kind of blend it up. I am wearing a bronzer today, but like a contour color, but you really don't need that. Like you can just kind of apply it lower on your cheeks and then just kind of blend it up. So it just does kind of double duty. So it makes it super fast, super easy. So yeah, like it backs up your investment that you can really like get a lot of use out of it. And it just feels like fun and fancy. I love the Chanel blushes. I'm really not like a super duper into luxury makeup sort of girl. I think it's pretty, but I just don't like get luxury makeup a lot. But I love the Chanel blushes. Like I think they're awesome. I think they're worth the investment. And this one is a great one to start with. It's beautiful. And then in true fashion for me, I am following up a Chanel blush with an Essence highlighter. So like, uh, I don't even know how much the Chanel blushes are, but a pricier blush with a super affordable highlighter. And that's how I like makeup. Like I like all different kinds of makeup and I think this is just as exciting as that Chanel blush. Maybe not quite as exciting, but still really exciting. This is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. So I do have this on today. This is so pretty. And I feel like this is a highlighter that really like, it looks pretty in the pan, but I don't think it looks as pretty in the pan or like, here's the story. Let me give you the backstory. I remember people talking about this highlighter and I remember, I remember, 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 mm -hmm. I remember seeing it in Ulta and looking at it and I thought, that's pretty, but like I wasn't super drawn in by it. Like it just didn't super duper wow me and made me think I really wanna try that highlighter. But I kept hearing people talk about it and I was like, well, there has to be something to this highlighter. So I bought it and then once I actually used it, I love this highlighter. I think this is a great first highlighter to start with because not only is it super affordable, but it's a really versatile color. So it's again, one of those highlighters that you can just like know it's gonna go with your makeup look. So you're gonna get a lot of use out of it. It's an easy one to use because it has a really nice formula to it. Like it's pigmented and really does give a beautiful look on the skin but it's versatile. Like you can just apply a little bit of it and it's perfect for every day, work, whatever, or you can really like build it up and it's just like a little bit more like, not a little bit more like pretty intense. Like it can build up to be pretty intense, but it's just that beautiful glowy champagne highlighter. I love it and I think it's like four bucks or something, which is awesome. For lips this week, I have a couple of favorites. So I put up a what's new at the drugstore video this week, which are some of my very favorite videos to film, if not my very favorite videos. I just love drugstore makeup. I love trying out new drugstore makeup, sharing those thoughts with you guys. So put up one of those videos this week, but I think I completely forgot to include these two. I have this color and one other color. These lipsticks from L'Oreal, I don't think I had them when I did like my semi-recent What's New at the Drugstore video. And then I don't think I included these in the video this week. So anyway, L'Oreal has some new matte lipsticks out and I don't really know, it just says L'Oreal Color Riche, but they're mattes. And this one is number 800 Macaron, Macaron. So I wore this one this week. I have kind of like a bright um, fuchsia sort of color. Oh, I forgot to wipe off my highlighter. So we'll just go this way with the lip color. Y'all don't mind. We're just friends around here. It's not, we don't have to be all professional. We're just girls hanging out talking about makeup. So here it is right there. So it's a beautiful, like, I don't know, easy, light, neutrally pink. I do really like these. Did I get sidetracked? I think I got sidetracked. I got this color and then I got a bright fuchsia sort of a shade. And I really like that one a lot. I don't think I've shown y'all that one. I'll show it to you soon. I'll try to remember to wear it next week and show you some swatches. Anyway, it's a beautiful kind of light, medium, fun, neutral pink. So it's girly and it's a little bit bubblegum pink, but not like full on bubblegum pink. Um, these do have the L'Oreal lipstick smells, which is not ideal, but you know, if you're used to L'Oreal lipsticks, it's it's that familiar L'Oreal lipstick scent. So not a good scent in my opinion, but not horrible. Like I can deal with it. 
And I do like this formula. It's kind of like a, I would say like a satin mat. Um, I think it's that good balance between being comfortable, but then it sets down and wears well. Not my very favorite matte formula that I've tried, but I think a pretty good one. And these were um, really affordable. I got these at Walmart and I think they were right around $5 or $5.50 or something. So, which I don't remember L'Oreal lipsticks being that affordable. So I thought that was awesome. I love the price point on it and I love matte lipsticks. So I was excited to see some matte lipstick options from L'Oreal. And then the new lipstick that I tried out this week, the color that I'm wearing right now is this one right here. Of course, I still have the box because I just got it and I keep boxes for a long time anyway. So these are a new formula from Anastasia Beverly Hills. These are the matte lipsticks and I got the shade Soft Pink. So I think the packaging is really cute on it. Like it's really pretty looking, um, like not super weighty, but I think it has a nice look to it. And I think these are really affordable, like 17 or $18, something like that. I think they had an affordable price point from what I can remember. So I was looking through the different colors and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna go with something that's a little bit colorful, but a shade that I think I'll get a lot of use out of. So that's why I picked the kind of like neutral pinky shade. So this formula, like I mentioned, I love matte lipsticks. This is a very thick formula of matte lipstick. I like it, but I just find a little bit goes a long way with it. Um, and it's a little bit difficult to kind of like get the kind of application I want on it, if that makes sense. Like it's a thicker formula, so I don't want a really thick application of it, but it's a matte, so it's a little bit difficult to kind of like move and spread around to use less product. So I hope that makes sense. So I kind of like find that I sort of like lightly touch my lips and then try to kind of rub my lips together. Once I get it on in a thinner application, I really like it. The first day I wore it when I just like went ham with it and went all over, I had it on my teeth because it was just too much product. And then it kind of moved a little bit, um, which is kind of strange for a matte lipstick, but I think it's just such a, a thick formula. I just had way too much product on my lips. So I would say kind of like build it up slowly and don't just like go crazy with it because a little bit goes a long way with it. Um, but I did find that it wore well. Um, again, it kind of started to do a little bit of the line just because it's a thick formula. So I think the key to using this lipstick is use the least amount possible, which is kind of like, you know, a golden rule for liquid lipstick or a lot of them. So yeah, I'm still trying it out. I do like it. I love this color. I think it's a really fun, sweet, girly color, um, but I probably won't go out and buy like, you know, 10 more colors of this. It's not my favorite lipstick formula that I've ever tried, but I do like this one and I'm glad that I've gotten to try it out. All right guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.